Hi everyone. Now to make our menu appear every time until the user prints or puts in the value six, um, we'll use a do while for that. So it's after creating, um, after defining our data types, then we do a do and end it there. And then here I would have to pasting all the information. Okay, and paste. Now you'll notice that the program is complaining because do needs to come with a while. So to know which bracket we'll have to do the while at, highlight the starting bracket. And then after the end, just type while, and then we'll use our um, variable, the user choice is not equal to six and a semicolon. Okay, so the really that's about it. This will make a program or the menu um, to display every time. And because it's a do while, it will run the first time. And if I choose to quit, then it would still quit. So if I do six, the program terminates. So let's give this another run and let's see what happens if I don't do six. So I'll put in one and this is the result of our addition. Now we'll enter another value. So I'll do um, three and three, and then I can do a two. So that's a zero because three minus three is a zero. And then I'll do um, four and four, and we'll do a multiply. So number three, so that's 16 and a division, a divide. Uh, so we'll do um, five and five and I'll print four. So the program really pretty much keeps on working. But what if I do, um, uh, for example, 10 and 1.5 and I do a divide. I'd like this to display in two decimal numbers. So we can do that as we have done in the past. So I need to change this into a printf. And here I'll have a formatting rule saying I want my um, floating uh, value or double to display in two decimal places. And I need to have a new line because that's not gonna print a new line. Okay, and I would then just display that. So let's give this another run. And it was 10 and 1.5 and divide. And you can do the same for the others if you wanted them to be displayed in two decimal places. Okay, so this is just going to keep on working. Let's do the power off. So um, five and, and five and number five. So the power of is 3,125. And, um, and let's say I would do um, 10 and 10, and then I'll just decide to quit. So we can still improve this program because it's asking me for two numbers and then I decide to quit. So we can still fix this and we, we might do that in future videos. Uh, but that's it. That's, I just wanted to show you how you can have a, a do-while loop to keep displaying the menu. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.